Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo, and we're back on Counter-Strike Global Offensive for Volume 64 of the Trade-Up videos. All of today's trade-ups are overall profitable, so I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. So we're using Trade-Up Spy for our trade-ups on the channel. Please check them out using my link in the description. You get two free days for every month that you buy using my link. So first up today is going to be a Milstack to Restricted one, and it's going to be a mix of the Danger Zone and Glove Collections, and it's a Stat Track one. So for this one, we've got five skins from each collection. So for this, we have five skins from the Danger Zone collection, which are all of these Sword Off Black Sands, obviously Stat Track ones, and those are all in minimal wear. And then the other half of it is the five from the Glove collection, and those are all in field tested. So get all of those ones in as well. There's four CZs and one of the MP9s. There you go. So I'll throw a picture up for you guys so you can see what we're going to get here. For this, we get a mix of minimal wear and factory new outcomes, five of one and five of the other, and the main thing is that we just get the USPS Cyrex into factory new. The average float that we have here is 0 0.123, so it's an average kind of minimal wear float overall, but it does bring some skins into factory new for this one. The cost here is around £2.75, so 306 in euros or 3.39 in dollars. We've got a 30% chance to make some profit here with the M4 flashback in minimal wear, the USP flashback in factory new and then of course the USPS Cyrex in factory new which is a really big profit. The P250 Nevermore and the Galil Signal are around break even and then we make a small loss on the Nova Gilla in factory new and then the pair of G3SG1s and the MAC-10 and the dual Berettas kind of working our way down get to kind of the biggest rips for this trade up. So let's give this a go. Can we hit the big profit on the USP Cyrex because that's what we're really after but even one of the smaller profit outcomes are still nice just hopefully we don't fail it. Come on. Ah, oh, the Nova Gila. So we've had this before from a few trade-ups that we've done. Um, it's actually not like the worst outcome because it does come with a reasonable factory new float, I think. So where is it? Be at the top. There we go. Oh, it's got weird textures. Um, yeah, so that's going to come with a 0 0.03 float. So it's actually not too bad for kind of, you know, using for a further trade-up or for selling on, I guess. But it is still a fail outcome for the trade-up. So a little bit unfortunate with that first one. We didn't manage to pull the uh, Cyrex. But never mind. We're going to move on now and move on to our second one today. And this is going to be another low float attempt at a very rare skin. So this one's looking for a Desert Eagle Crimson Web in factory new condition. So it's a Milspec restricted trade up and using the Esports 2014 Summer Collection to hunt the Deagle. So for this one, we've got one skin from the Esports 2014 Summer Collection, which is the CZ75 Auto Hexane, and that's in minimal wear, and it's got quite a decent float, like 0.076, I think it is. Um, and then we've got, that's the one that we're obviously hoping will bring us the Deagle. Then we've got a 2018 Inferno skin in Factory New, which is this sword off brake light. Um, that's just to provide some extra profitable outcomes for the trade up, basically. And you can also, it's quite easy to get those with very low floats. They just naturally come out with really low floats from the trade ups that you do from industrial to mill spec anyway. So there are main collection skins and the ones that we're hoping to pull either a Deagle or any skin from the Inferno collection with. Um, and then to fill out the rest of the trade up, we've got eight skins from the late collection, which are all of these SG553 anodized navies. They're all in factory new and they've all got pretty low floats. Some of them are really low. So we'll get all of those loaded in there. There you go. And I'll throw a picture up for you guys so you can see. Um, all the floats obviously have got to be kept under um, a very certain point for this, the same as the P250 Whiteout and all the trade-ups that we did a couple of videos ago. It's got to be a very low average. So from the picture, you see all of the outcomes we're going to get will be in factory new. And we've got a 0 0.0135 average float, which is only just getting the Deagle into factory new. You've got a 25% chance to profit here. Um, it's around double the money-ish on the 2018 Inferno skins. Um, some a little bit, I think the AK and the MP7 will be slightly under and the P250 slightly over, but they'll all come out with quite low floats. So you should be able to get a bit over market for them anyway. Um, and then the that 6.25% chance for those skins, 
then the Deagle is also at 6.25% chance, but that's a huge profit. It's around 12 times the money, I think, for the Deagle, but it is only 25% chance to profit. With the fails, we've got another 25% chance to get any of the other eSports 2014 summer skins. The Bison's not too awful, as it isn't a huge loss, but the P250 virus is a little bit of a rip, and the Ocean Foam and the Glock would lose you quite a large chunk of the money. But obviously the worst outcome is at 50%, which is from the late collection, and it's the dual Berettas, and obviously if we end up with those at 50%, that's a massive rip, because you can't trade those up any further. So yeah, despite the fact that they're going to have a really low float, they're still not going to be worth anything really, compared to what you spent on the trade-up. So obviously it is a bit risky, but hopefully if we can somehow pull the Deagle or an Inferno skin out of this, it'll actually go quite well. Just please no dual Berettas and I'll honestly be happy. <laughs> so here we go. If we can hit the Deagle, that'd be pretty amazing. Let's see what we get for this one. Ah, the Julies. There we go. So unfortunately that is a loss for that second trade up. They are some very low float Julies and they're actually quite a nice skin, but obviously just completely worthless. So, yeah, not going to help anybody. They're 0.005, but you can't use them for another trade-up, so they're worthless in that respect, and, yeah, worthless in terms of price. So maybe I'll get a little over market for them, but they're still a huge loss on that trade-up, unfortunately. So that's a little bit annoying anyway, but that's the second one down. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Deagle or an Inferno skin, and now we're going to move on to the third one today, and this one is going to be a classified to covert one. This one is going to be from the CS20 collection, and we're going to try and get ourselves an Orp Wildfire. So for this trade-up, we've got all 10 skins from the CS20 collection. We've got two MP9 Hydras in Well Worn, which I'm not sure exactly which two they are. That one and that one, there we go. So yeah, I've got those two in Well Worn, and then we've got four more of the MP9 Hydras, which are in Battle Scarred. So let's get those in there. And then four of the P90 Nostalgias. These are all also in Battle Scarred to fill out the rest of the trader. There we go. Um, I'll throw you guys a picture up so you can see what we're going to get here. So you can do these reasonably cheaply as you can use all 10 skins for this in Battle Scarred. I've got two in Well Worn just in case I ended up getting a bad one or two with the buy orders for the Battle Scarred Hydras. But um, you can use all 10 in Battle Scarred as long as you kind of keep the average float just about high enough. The P90 Nostalgias are generally quite good because they don't go particularly low, the Battle Scarred ones. They're capped, I think, at 0.56 or something like that. So you can buy those fairly comfortably without worrying too much about the float. But the MP9s can come in like 0.09, so you do have to be a little careful with the MP9 Hydras. So you see that our outcomes here are both going to come in field tested. The AWP's going to be 0.35 and the FAMAS is going to come at 0 0.25. 0 um, this is from using an average float of 0.505. So as I say, you could use two good float battle scards instead of the well worns like I've got and still keep the AWP in the 0 0.37 range to be field tested. Um, the cost for this one is around 20.95, so 23.29 for euros or 25.86 in dollars. We obviously have the 50/50 coin flip of, of profit or loss here, either getting the beautiful Orp wildfire or the golden destroyer of dreams, the Famas commemoration. It is a nice skin, but obviously it's just a big rip if you're trying to do this trade up. So here we go. Is the covert one at the end actually going to work out for us, or are we going to be left with the Famas? Let's do this. Orp Wildfire, come on. Yeah, we got the Wildfire. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's quality. So we did hit the covert trade up. That is in field tested. There we go. Orp Wildfire. So 0 0.358. It's not too into field tested. It's just above the 0 0.36 mark. It's a little worn around here and a little bit on the pattern towards the back but I'm not going to complain at all. That is exactly what I was after, and I'm extremely happy that we managed to hit the end one again. So that's, I think, four of the last five videos, maybe. We've actually managed to come out with the end one doing quite well. So I'm pretty happy with that, obviously. Um, we used the M4 control panel that I traded up for in the previous video, um, we used that one to get the AWP Wildfire trade-up together. So obviously we're just expanding on the trade-ups that we've already done for the third trade-up at this point. So that's really cool. So anyway, I'm just going to cut here, guys, and we'll figure out what we've made today, what we've lost, and I'll be back to you with some totals in a moment. 
Okay, and I'm back guys, and today our costs were around £29.53, so around 32.82 in euros, or 36.45 in dollars. The value of the items that we traded up for today is about 42.34 in pounds, so 47.06 in euros, or 52.26 in dollars. So this means that we made a profit today of £12.81, or 14.24 in euros or 15.81 in dollars so it's been a good one for the profits today obviously it wasn't looking so hot with the first two trade-ups and then yeah the orc wildfire just pulled it all back at the end for the big one so i'm extremely happy with the results thank you everyone for watching please check out trade ups by and the other ways you can support the channel with my links in the description take care everyone thank you all so much again and i'll see you in the next one bye bye